Hey guys, and welcome to Halkion 6. Halkion 6 is a very interesting game. It's not one game I can really point to one game and give it a reference. It has a l very lot of depth in its gameplay. So the closest game I could think of was FTL, but when I played Out There Omega, it also has a little bit of that as in the storytelling. What it is, it's a retro RPG with a focus on base building, tactics, crew management, and has a large kind of vast story. It's very interesting and I think we'll just hop right in and give you an idea of what Halkion 6 is all about. So we're going to be playing the main campaign on the commander difficulty and I'm going to leave the prologue in and just so you guys get an idea of what the game is all about. So this is the loading screen by the way. So for half a bolemia, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. But it was the Terran Federation, through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class, that ultimately prevailed. Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long dead precursor alien race, they put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. One of these precursor artifacts is your home, Halkion 6, the crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries. The star base as the Federation's home base in the Halkion sector. Commanded by Amaro um, Brahman Chandra, the Federation's most decorated officer and protected by the 12th Fleet. The star base is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with the mystery of unlocking its mysteries and mission, by the way, sorry. Today, however, the space station has received some unwelcome news. A garbled hypercast ordering the 12th Fleet return to Federation space. With the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue to work on the experiment, Admiral Brahmachandra leaves you in charge of the station. Preparing for warp. This is quite a long warp, I believe, if I remember correctly. Emma, we're right at the rendezvous point, and there's no sign of the open forest. No hypertracks to detect either. I think we're early. Put on your signal, Captain. The 4th and 8th are expected to join us, as well as those Titan class ships should be hard to miss. I'm, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation order. Some kind of... Whatever it is, it's getting stronger, sir. Never seen anything like this before. Some kind of portal. I'm, I'm suddenly getting several ship readings. I'll head for our position. They must be coming out of that thing. So give us an idea of combat. Unknown hostiles. Wait, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. So this gives you an introduction to the combat. I'm going to be explaining combat a little bit more as we get through it but pretty much you can take some actions so this is that was pretty much a, just a damage attack um, this one has a chance to reflect two different status effects and they're both single enemy attacks so, they also attack certain characters so if we see this um, ship day so it's aim and by twi five by five sorry it's aim and by five its damage is reduced by 25 you can also see that if you... Oh no, sorry, I can't look at character things and all. So Drone Swarm attacks all enemies and does a stat attack. So now it's going to let me uh, please look at characters. So it gives you an idea of what they're vulnerable to as well as their abilities and the number of combat victories and stuff, which is kind of different if you look at it. This so it's, yeah, so it's just going to continue. I don't find this particularly as a great tutorial because these aren't the ships you're particularly going to be using so hey this is going to give you some exploiting things so this ship is ship days so we're going to use this ability and it will do additional damage so but for the most part um introduction is a little bit i'd say lacking um i think it, it tries to kind of put you into the, the game but Fine, unless you've never played any type of game, but I don't think it's too hard. The only thing that does give it is a nice thing to know is um, when uh, ships all health has been extinguished, you get a critical condition status. So you have to do another hit to finish it off. So this is where the Cauterize Hull comes in useful. It is useful to know that. That's really the only useful thing I picked up from this, other than there is status effects. So. Safe and run, tough to see the top of the top ship. And drone pair. So this drone pair 
is your first one. It heals and it has a persistent heal. It heals 175 for 4 rounds. But it, it has a lot of healing actually. But, yeah. Kupak is very bad. So Kupak has a lot of things that take advantage of it and it makes it so you can't very easily um, protect yourself. So, okay. So Doomcam is a very powerful attack. It probably won't kill this, but it has a lot of strength to it. So ramming speed is an instability. It actually causes a breach for the ship that's ramming as well. So. So stay lock instant. You can lock it to ship down. We cannot colorize hull anymore. So you can just lock down the lock the vessel. And we can use Dreadnought Round, high damage, but causes a hull breach. Go ahead, take advantage of it, and destroy the You do help to use top it. I think that happens every time. And then we can just use the Floor Flare to finish off some shitness monster. So there you go, there's our introduction. I don't know, pick that more of the portals on the sensor. Lots of enemy ships coming through. We're being surrounded. I don't know. We need to jump back now. Back to Halkion 6. I've got... Ooh. Oh, God. What is that? That thing. Jump now, for God's sake. Jump now. Commander, we've seen the loss of Harp Catholic with Admiral Bermachandraj and the 12th Fleet. Halkion 6, Starbase Commander. With the 12th fleet destroyed and little information as to where the fleet still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in a hostile enemy terror conflict flight in desperate need of more crew. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Bermachandra's experiment to try and unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Choose your first officer. So, I actually like um, the engineering. We'll kind of go through them. So, uh, science are more of a support class. Um, if you look, they don't really have great um, offensive powers. So, they're, I would really find it's a great choice for your first one is healing um, some weaker attacks and. Um, one bend space on this is actually a good attack um, because crew panic is a very powerful corbin lao i think he kind of suffers from the opposite he has all damage attacks but um no real healing or support abilities so and this is the doom cannon it deals 500 percent in but it disables your ship and it powers down your engines um characters also have um, physical attacks, but they generally follow the same idea of their other ones. So, we're going to be picking a Soul Day Freehold because it's Warren Swarm, good damage and kind of persistent damage. Broadside Salvo, same thing. Um, both um, give good um, kind of secondary effects. Hull Breach is very powerful. Salvage Harpoon, again, inflicts two abilities with um, lower damage but damage over time as well as Dawn Repair Salvo which is really good healing great healing it's a initial heal plus a four round heal so but this is just like a very high heal but and in good ground combat um, supportive heals coupled with good attacks so definitely going to go with ISIL with Freehold so the technological prodigy at a young age, it sold Freehold at the age of 5, was the youngest student ever admitted to the Academy of Engineer. At the age of 16, she purposely transfigured herself, transplanting some home-cooked cyborg appendages to keep parts of her autonomy, and leading to several psych villages, which she, with the help of her newfound processing power, passed with flying colors. So, it's just going to say, Engineering tops are the toughest and mechanic-minded officers in the Federation. Their, my, their power repertoire often consists of damage over time attacks, hard hitting attacks, and taunt attacks. While well, bots often protect them from harm. Space combat, engineering officers aim to command engineering ship, which have the toughest hull of the three classes. Practical science and engineering. So, I'm going to confirm our choice. 
Sorry to make commander, but we have a situation. Um, it signals of pirate origins. They should arrive in 48 hours. It's just going to give us some basic information here. So, um... Federation Starbase, our space attacked the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admiral Zeb and the Zelots clan. This is Razab Toastlicer McCormack. Hand over the spire system while you to return to Federation Space. Comply or recompense orbital bombardment. So, it pretty much says you should choose to reject or surrender. So, we will reject. I forgot you Federation... Federals, I guess? Love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federation scum. Amanda Vilaypa? Oh yeah. So this is ship creation. And we don't necessarily have they might make choices, because um we have to have an engineering class vessel for our, our captain to pilot it, and the only engineering class vessel we have is the knight. So um we're gonna construct it. So it tells you how much crew it takes and how much um dark matter. We have three resources, well technically four, but I've never seen fuel used in ship construction. So we have crew, materials, and dark matter. So now we have a status of how long the ship will take to build, so we can just pass the time on the star map. So, time passes, it will notify us when our ship is complete. Ready to launch in T minus 3 seconds. 3, 2, 1, Matic Creator deployed. I like that nice little effect. I think it looks pretty neat. Don't think we see that again for the other ships. New experiment with sex. I'll send so this is new construction. Come up ready to select an officer to command her. We only have one officer, so we're ready to go. So these first kind of combats are pretty simple. So I'm just going to quickly run through this because it's pretty basic. Assign a ship and attack. Power soups into attack position. So um, we have three abilities. We have Flak Raj, which has the chance of putting our opponent into enemy's down position. We have a hull. We have a uh, deconstruct, which gives our opponent a chance to hull bait and also deals damage over time. It's also a hull effect. We have shock mine, which has the chance to disable ship and it exploits crew panic. Um, you can see the damage on them. So, if we look at him, his vulnerabilities to propulsion and engines down by 50%. So we want to try to get him engines down. This happens to affect engines down. So we'll hit him to see if we can affect that condition. Otherwise, I would have used Deconstruct, but it's a good idea to hit what the vulnerabilities are, but I'm surprised we're not getting um, our engine stuff. Killed him in three hits. I'm guessing because the vulnerability will give us an extra chance for critical hits. So we get a victory and some rewards for the battle. Every time you're in a battle, you will get rewards. Look like a new ship held up pretty well, though I doubt that's the worst of it. Commander, we have long retired, but I've put it through now. So we're going to be attacked again, I believe. I don't believe we're met. Feel free to return me as the Amorax. A tower that denotes my sublime command, command over the pirate clans in this sector. Now, Commander, or should I say acting commander, my spies tell me I should congratulate you on your new post. They've also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. And I'm giving the courtesy of informing me that we'll be visiting you very soon. This is my territory, and so your station now belongs to me. Yeah, that's a little bit aggressive with his bloodshot eyes. And lucky for you, I invited all the pirate clans to help me take it. I highly suggest you turn tail and turn to Federation space. If you're of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. So exactly like I said, pirates are going to move in for another combat. Time for death, Federation pig. This is Chess Slop Choker Grunwald. I will avenge the death of Rar Zab Toast Lyser and the station to the Admiral Axe. Sorry, what? I can't hear you. These massive death cams I'm warming up are really loud. So... So again, we want to look at what these ships are. So they're, I believe they're the same. Um, but what we can do is we can actually, um, I'll show you the deconstruct. So it has the ability to do a hull breach which will do damage over So. So it takes 200 base damage. So what we can do is we already have it deconstructed. We can deconstruct this ship as well to get it taken down over time. And we can focus on this ship. We sh might be able to take it out in one hit. Just take a hull bleed. Additional damage from hull breach. So, there's a chance. Okay, so. It will die afterwards because of the status effect. Okay. So, we can take a flint rod. Ooh, he actually avoided it altogether. 
What are the chances? So. And success. So we took a little bit of damage there, but nothing too critical. Oh, looks like we have shards of charred metal for the time being. And then you can return your ship at any point. Commander, the crew is eager to gain our full sense of capabilities. Do that recover an excess source of energy. The good news is the tech research team has figured out a way to harvest the state chain's core reactor with a smaller standard issue di dithyrium reactor. So this is the research tab. It kind of unlocks different things. So we're going to research this. No. So um, sometimes it'll take time to research and other times it'll just automatically complete. So let's go to the star base. We can explore an area. So you sign a uh, admiral or an uh, officer and it tells you how long it will take. And it's also based on their um, statistics as well. Characters have three statistics, their science, engineer, and tactical skills. But... Okay, so we have completed that, cleared the room, and now we can build something in the room. Right now we only have the one selection, later on we will have more selections. So, again, like I said, the tutorial's not exactly um, that interesting, but it does give you essential information on how to start. I just wasn't sure if we skipped the other one, if we'd still get the full prologue. So, wanted to give you an idea of what the game starts out like. So, now we get a navigational map and give us kind of an idea of um, all the areas. These are the areas we're going to capture. So, um, we'll distribute the death signals. That's what we'll see down here. So, the mission. Distress just find me at Ghost Head so we can send our fleet to the nearby Nibla. So I'll click on Nibla, hit send fleet. We can also see there's a fleet there. Um, um, there you can see there's a fleet. It won't always appear there that there's a fleet. Also we can look at it. So it's vulnerabilities to hull. Sorry. So if we go back out, this is hull damage. So he takes extra damage from hull and less damage from weapon systems. So. This is an especially effective attack. Otherwise, this is a good attack, but it's great to start out with this one. So you get a little bit of damage, and you get damage over time from the hull blink statistic. So that's a perfect DX dust. So Brood Pods is a healing effect. If you wanted to read about it, if so here, heal effect. This is what it does, and it can inflict weapon destruction. Also, at the bottom, it tells you the order of what stuff will happen. So, weapon destructions. Just up at 25% damage, that's why this is so critical, because it deals damage even if our weapons are So, taking a little bit of damage, but not that we can't handle. And that's got a critical hit on all of which. I don't think you can even lose these battles, to be honest. I think they're pretty much set up so you win. Good thing you turned out you did, sir. Whether that festival was, managed to shoot up our only sending ship a few days ago. Did some nasty damage to our fire also. My crew's pretty shaken up. Good news, we got some fusers and just before the attack. Just give the word and transfer over to them. So that's what um, happens when you arrive at somewhere. You'll get the option to gather fuel. You also get the option um, to um, evacuate the um, center, but won't always be your best bet. So we complete the objective and eliminate the enemy vessels and we got rewards of materials. So, um, so these are just briefings. Um, we can go over them quickly, but they're just pretty basic stuff. Um, they want you to build an officer academy. That's what that is to expand the starbase and fleet. Um, this is going to talk about restoring enemies and investigating the space part. That's over here. I'll explain this a little bit more as we actually get into the game. So we do get one more officer, which is very important. So you can actually re-roll as well when you get officers. So. I actually want a second a science officer now. Someone with um, a blot of shield. Defensive shield. I want someone who also has a healing. Inflex transfusion one. Voice bleeding. Oh, okay. So it heals yourself. Let's be well see what else we can get. So don't I'm sure if I'm that big of a fan of stasis log. We'll be able one more time. There we go. Emergency Mens is a great ability. 
Sonic Blacks, anything that inflicts confused is also quite good. So I'm actually think I'm Ooh. Not as happy with these um space combat abilities. So what else did I get? Because I got two all enemies, which is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Cordero Shaw because I need more all enemies attacks. Just like the Quicken, I'm not super impressed with, but yeah, Temple increased speed by ninety percent, but. Yeah, it does hit all enemies, but not particularly powerful, but we will get other enemies on our ships as well, so we're not only limited to these ones, so. Federation survivors detected. So what we're going to want to do, though, is we want to go into ship management. We want to um, repair a ship so it's at full health, because we have no way to currently repair a ship. We want to go into ship construction, and we actually want to make a science ship. So these are ability science ships start with. Portal Cannon, Upload Virus, and Caldera's Hull. The, it will, what you start with depends on the ship. So we cannot, um, you can see all the ships we have. We have a Scout, or a Shuttle rather. We have a uh, Tactical Ship, an Acolyte, and a Knight. So I have nicely figured out um, the point of the Shuttles, but um, if you look at their health points, they fail, kind of fade in comparison, but they're very cheap. Anyway, we are going to make um, the Acolyte side ship. So once it's built, we can take advantage of our character. But right now, um, our second officer can't do anything because it doesn't have a ship. So what we can do is we can have him explore. So um, what we have is ship construction, ship hangar, fleet. Things are task over it will show we have an additional things to do. However, I just want to unlock another area. So if we add a Cordelia Shaw, she'll get experience um, and kind of, and like four days is kind of a long period of time, but not the end of the world. So now we want to look at, at our missions. So requesting aid at Alpha Votanus. So um, we've seen from the Alpha Viteris sector, we should send a fleet to meet them. Um, we also have a large objective here. So this is a large one. It's going to take quite a bit of fuel, I'm guessing, to head all the way there. Uh, but generally, I do recommend helping the crews. So, can I send a fleet? It will take 11 fuel, but it is free to travel back. So we're, um, we're going to name this one Bear Force One. Just because I thought that was a neat name for a fleet, I'm going to stick with it. So we're going to launch again using a lot of fuel here, but and we're going to do our best. Man, it is fear of sleep behind with the Caliphate Elf patching you through now. I'm not going to lie to you, Commander. Color is just about on the blink of collapse. But now you're in charge, you should be able to shore up support and get my colors back into a reasonable state. We fully stocked the functional colony here, Commander. So you're at your disposal. We're not going to lie. Most of us appear to be evacuated on that station of ours. But if you need us here, we can pull any fair refugees in the area we encounter. So exactly like I say, you can evacuate um, a crew, but I don't recommend it. Because you will continue to get um, crew resources um, every um, day, though a crew, so you have to go and collect them. But what we can do is we can continue to um, search an area as we return. It doesn't cost anything really to do this. The closer though, the less um, you usually spend. So these are both two. This is where we're stationed, I believe. Okay. Just the one double check. So, um, we're, materials are probably the thing we want to go for first because it takes quite a bit to um, use up. We're going to aisle for a time because we have nothing else to do. So don't plan to leech your hive with star waves. I believe... It's got a uh, leech hive. Seems like cruise pass has not been detected. Um, we're going to do a load survivor gorilla strike. Due to unique experience in running such operations, Kershaw descends into the leecher pit with nothing but a laser knife, but takes out the high by supplies. is able to slaughter each leecher individually. Punter and group, Kershaw to shops and get back to work. So we got experience and materials. 
So that's all that was there. There wasn't a, um, how to say, there wasn't a colony or anything, but we did get some materials. Oh, she she finished what she was doing at the base and she got level, so I was kind of confused there, so. We're going to get spin maneuver because it's the hits all enemies. Um, and it's, so, anything that hits all enemies is great. I'm not sure about the Kabakazi move, though. This is, hopefully it doesn't kill herself, but <laughs> we will see. So again, we can continue to kind of move through. Again, the closer objectives will use less time. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Swore I hit here. Because this is... Hmm. Because this is all Votanus, and I thought I hit on Scenarius. Oh, is it... Oh, they're in transfer, and they stop there on the way. Is it ruins? So. So we can hit the Pulsar. I didn't think so. That redirect fleet thing kind of throws me off. New Eclix is ready for duty. All it needs is a commander, which you assign from the yeah, so that's fine, we'll give it to Shaw. Oh, I think Shaw's is she yeah, so she's one day meeting. So Become Dark Matter Extractor at Lupus, patching you through now. Bam, thanks heaven, you found us we did. We probably couldn't laugh another few days about the alien fleet swarm around us. What we have here, Captain, is a fully functioning Dark Matter Extractor. Or don't mind being extracted today, sounds like Dark Matter might can you sir. Take that account, we'll stay here and extract until you say the word. So exactly. So again, we're going to transfer Dark Matter to fleet and leave the system. So, um, collecting as much stuff as you can early on is important. Actually, can we make it here? No, we can't. So I guess we'll just head here. You can only go as far as you have. Um, Fuel, so. Make out the colony at Medias. The Brave North Overseas. Okay, so we're going to continue production and we'll lead the system. So we have quite a few systems. We're actually getting a lot of crew, but not very much energy at the moment. So what we do is click it and hit return home. So clear out that section. Um, we're just going to acknowledge that. So we've got 60 Dark Matter and 12 crew. So do we have enough? Yeah, so we... Oh, I thought we had enough, actually. So, th so three. I thought we had three there, but... I guess not at the moment. I don't know. So we can build if we have enough. No, it's not giving us... Oh, I probably have to research the... Officer Academy. So it costs 300 and 200. So now when we research it now, if we go to the star base, to make it off scout, we need 350 materials, which we do not have. It also takes seven energy. So the Officer Academy is um, what we need to explain the fleet. Third officer build a third ship, but it's really useful. Okay, Shaw got a promotion as well. Oh no, we already did that. So, Shaw's actually level 2 war, main commander is only level 1, but she didn't get into any combat situations. Oh wait, we, we dealt with that, so. So what we can do is that we can actually just have them clear out two segments, depending on how long it would take. 22 days for freehold. First, wait two days for that to finish. I believe our other person would take possibly four days. Just possibly waiting um, one more day. Perfect. So Freehold finally got her promotion here. So we can do that. 
I actually really like the self the salvage harpoon because it has two status effects on it. Very powerful ability. So sorry if I'm not explaining that, but I'm trying to keep it interesting by moving at a pretty decent pace. So we can add our second ship here and launch to collect the fuel. So we have 18 fuel. Very, very important. We should also be looking for areas that would possibly give us more fuel. But um, I think this is Nebula's only over here. We can attack the pirates, but I don't really recommend it. So, what you could do is start working your way towards there, because it's going to use fuel every time, rather than coming back. Either way, it works, but. Do we want to ah, see, you know, it doesn't mind. Hmm. This one, I, how it works for fuel. Coming back. Yeah, it would actually use less doing, doing it this way. So, that material mine uh, is in ruins. So, when something's in ruins, you can no longer um, take advantage of it. Ruined facilities are no good to us. So, we'll just continue on our way. We direct the fleet as needed. So we have another colony here. Again, we're just going to continue the production. So we're finding lots of colonies, but what we need is um, materials and um, fuel at the moment. So, seems in favor, Amy. There's no strict being safe to assume that the workers inside are already dead. Since a crew are organic, they like to have used little use of fuel. If we send them Back in a way to the refinery, we might be able to get some of the fuel back to help you on six. So we're gonna beam to the refinery, and we're gonna have a fight. This is a juvenile sensei, so it doesn't have two powerful abilities. So it's vulnerable to beams, but resistant to mechanicals. So um, Leaf Shaw has a healing ability, right? No, oh, that was a different one I was looking at. I think we're fine to do this. Um, I believe the engineer's a little bit more um, tanky than the other ones. Oh no, it's opposite, because this is our... Um... No way, I do have it right. This is our engineer. It's just the name overlaps. So. Inflicts exposed, exposed is a nice thing to inflict. Don't, don't take that. Nope, no status effects at all. So we want to try to get a fuse if we can. And again, we have heal, but we don't really need it at the moment. And you only get, I believe, so many before turning the base, and you only have three of them. So now we have confused. So, result in decreased evasion. So. We can hit it with abilities that have lower base hit in attempt to blind because it can't evade us. Creation bomb to heal, but perfect. We have confusion because, like I said, this is a higher damage and a chance to blind, except it has the lower chance to hit. So we can take advantage of the binds and just finish it off. Defeated. So a lot of the battles early I find are very very easy. So 85 units of fuel. That's just amazing. It's a lot of fuel. Okay, so now you have to decide kind of which direction you want to head. So I guess we'll head kind of in this direction. We have lots of fuel, so we can go for quite a quite a while. Destroyed. We should one more command soon pick up the path to everywhere. We must our signal, but they are relentless. Send help. Ah, they come. No, we lost signal. They may be surviving on the surface, but risk any officer we send down there. Beam down. So again, easy fledgling, not very powerful abilities. So, so, um, so yeah. Oh, sorry. I always try to attack right away. I do not heal my officers because I can heal them with our characters. Neat that it gives you the abilities, but I don't find we really need it, so. Go for 
the confusion. Uh, it's vulnerable to electricity and resistant to fire. So if you can get it confused, um, I see these are all mechanical. Okay, so it's electrical. Sometimes, um, if he's resistant, the mind toss is nice because it doesn't have an effect. But confusion lets you use the more powerful mind toss to do a little bit more damage. So, void shock. So yeah, we don't have any electric, so this continues our high power attack. So 9 damage, not too bad. We can heal a lot of damage. Really not too worried. We could have used exposed to decrease the damage output as well, but... I was trying to get the other ability on them, but it wasn't have much success. We got some measly rewards. Six two survivors, they're very grateful. It says you should to a star base, but you don't always have to. Um, I do not think we have enough, yeah. It's quite a bit for the officer county, but it's definitely very worth it to get another officer. Because you can have one at the there kind of working on stuff. So plus apply of dark matter. May as well head in there. Appears to be offline, reading signs of terrible life. So I was moving on to the source plate, left, left the dark matter inside. So I was sending away team again, or beam down. Um, nothing too damaging. Again, we could use that here, but I don't really want to. So, so again, um, resist the biological, so we'll use all our other abilities. Last. Perfect combat confused status. Actually dodged it. Man, I'm not getting the blind at all. <laughs> I'm just barraging him with mines, not getting the. So 12 damage, I just received a little bit extra. 45, there's a chance we'll get the kill here. And we did. Perfect. That's a good thing about mines. A little bit extra damage. Help you end fights um, much earlier. 78 cases of dark matter. So some things are getting to be quite a, a little bit further away. Makes it harder to collect. Please support the mines being rendered worthless. All mines appear to be killed. However, records show that there's large shipment due to Nutera. Mirror could still in storage if we send a away team and beat the Cthulhu. We'll be down to the refinery. Again, um, weekend thing. Play officers, we do not want to heal. So, um, do we want to heal? Still don't think we really need to heal. We have so, so much power to heal. Later on, it just be quite to over heal. And we haven't had any problems at all so far, so we can continue for a long time at this rate. Oh no, sorry, we didn't get the... I don't recommend using that, otherwise, you know, we'll the chat for this. Or explosives are not a bad ability. That's it, now we, we can... To get confused, we can work on getting the blind as well. Stacking up stats effect is very powerful. So, don't think this will kill it, but will probably get us one hit away from killing it. And room take down for the win. There you go. 70 containers of materials. I think that puts us a little bit off our kind of goal. Did I search this one? Can't remember. That's the problem. Don't always remember where I went. But. Not any other materials around. But I could probably. Problem is, I can't make it back here. But I'm not sure how it to fast return. We'll quickly check it out. Make contact with the fleet at Horsehead. Continue production. And we'll leave the system. I'm not sure when I'm coming back here, but if not, we can always return here to defend them. So we're gonna return home. See, it takes a while to return home. It looks like they're under some kind of attack, possibly.
Oh. Oh, it's full capacity. So you can't get any more crew there. So it's definitely a good time to head over there. So. And we found some more um, crew. We might even have enough materials to... Oops, I want to start base construction. Build our officer academy. So three days remaining, that will work on that. And where's the... Up... Way up there. Yeah. There's a lot of strong ships there, so I'm... Kind of concerned about that one. We'll send a ship there because we have lots of fuel at the moment. Yeah, we'll take that 41 crew. One twenty, yeah, slave quite a bit. Can't remember if I examined this one yet. Materials my oh perfect, thank god. Could last long service things are on us. So we transfer materials, leave the system. Begin. Head over here. And it looks like um, someone is attacking our system there as well. So we're gonna continue production, transfer materials. Gonna quickly over, head over there and grab those materials. Okay, so we get another commander. So I'm gonna go with a tactical commander here. Um, not particularly sold on those. I don't really not sold in the cloak. Ooh, engines down and weapon structure is quite good though, but bridge shots also quite good. Hmm. Blinded. Exposed, Fillet Shocked, and Bleeding are all really good. I'll go with Imus and Medici. So. Oh, we can add... Hmm. What's the equivalent? 10% more from combat. Hmm. Sure. We'll pop that in as well. Don't think there's anything else we can build at the moment. Getting the materials, the get the multipliers is quite good. Cause it um lets you get multipliers, which is very helpful over the course of the game. So a Czar Besser Vibrator system. He's claimed to be from the Czar Zanthu Dictorate. Might be a new government taken over. Put him through now. Federation Commander, greetings from the Honorable Tsar Xanthu Director. It seems as though the biological superweapon you're clearly developing has gotten loose and rapidly percolating across Federation space. We hope you learn not to pursue such folly in the future. Those errands you think we made? Or some kind of weapon? Oh, will you expect us to think you were breeding monstrosity flesh based we on an Emperor to secret quest for galactic domination? <coughs> uh, no. Find that. Don't admit your shrade. Promise you to fill in Zara the bar weapon experts. Eventually capture one of those creatures and explode the fellow pinpoints all over its genetic code. Wait, so is that called now? What about the Zara Narch? How dare you mention the name of that dread subspecies? We were vaporized last week and weeks ago. Zara Narch's ascendancy was a historic blight on our race. One that many lives are sacrificed to end. Finally, they made Zara leaders look like Zara and Zara Well, that cleared it up. One final warning. Not approach and interfere with any Zara territories or colonies. Unlike the Tsar Notch and Tsar Kor, they are roast in the crowds of Sislav. We should know what's to with anyways. No fair enough fair is terrifying. So, stay paused because we can actually create... Um, oops, another ship. Because we probably have enough. And we want to create a rogue because this is a tactical ship. Got Harass, Crippling Shot, and Teleport Explosives. Also, if you look, it has kind of a lot more damage than the other ships. Oh no, we are lower than antimatter, but it should 
once we get there it should kind of help us quite a bit okay so now we can probably build our ship oops i wanted to go to ship construction and construct okay i have to wait for them to return from this yeah colonies are at full capacity i uh, may as well head over there quickly to pick up those colonies 12 coup were too close to die in the explosion so that's a random event that can happen so um okay it just tells here 34 let's quickly head over there take the crew and we could actually head over here is it which would be quick i think it would save fuel if we actually returned home quickly sir pirate three explosive system prepare to burn we pick some of their chatter there's no comparison client is definitely the strongest guy to replace the amorax let me get it straight you trust the mutants are to continue the amorax legacy swords the lupus sir. you were in track scorpion you didn't see them too for he if you're talking pirate skills why will it then? To me, it sounds like someone's bike against the czar. Listen, say what you want. Yablings, you don't double the prof motivation. Hey, I hear anyone that kicks Slavic, right? The collect the thing, give me the creeps. You said it. The commander that was the extended commute, where he blames up, pirates to take a bomb, open fire. So we're worried the bomb is going to cause crew loss of time. Their crew reaches zero, station will be taken, and our mission is over. So yeah, it takes, but we'll be there pretty quickly, so we won't affect too much. So now that we've arrived with our things, we can actually start building that ship that I wanted to construct. Which is the Rogue. So, construct ship. It will be done in three days. However, we do want to send our fleet out to engage here. So we can start combat. But I think, guys, we'll end it for here. And we'll be back in the next episode for this horrible bomber. Thanks, guys. Later.